How does audience targeting work in Optimizely Fullstack? Optimizely audience targeting works by using data available in your application, passed in as key value pairs to Optimizely's APIs, along with conditions you've defined in Optimizely's application to make fast and flexible in-memory targeting decisions without additional requests to Optimizely. Let's look at this visually. Say you have an application that has different users, each with different attributes stored in your system. Maybe you store the locale of the user, whether they are a VIP user, and what company they belong to. For all attributes of your users that you may want to target on, first you pass those attributes as key value pairs to optimize these APIs in your application. Then you create those attributes with the same key name in Optimizely. Once the attributes are defined in Optimizely, we can create an audience for when the isVIP attribute equals true to define an audience for all VIP users. The audience definition in Optimizely is saved in a condensed JSON format known as a data file, which is uploaded to a globally distributed CDN. When you initialize the Optimizely SDK as a part of your application, your application will download the audience definition locally. This way, when a particular user visits your application and you pass that user's information as attributes to Optimizely's APIs, the Optimizely SDK will have all the information it needs to make a decision in memory on whether the feature or experiment is targeted to the user without any additional network requests to Optimizely. This greatly reduces the performance impact of audience targeting on your application. As different users visit your application, they provide different attribute values, which changes the result of the audience targeting. In this example, Carl and Diana are not part of the VIP audience. With additional operators like substring match, you can create more complex audience definitions, like any US user, by matching on a substring of the locale. With the ability to combine these conditions using any combination of and or not logic, we can make even more precise audiences like all users who are VIP and are in the US. Or we can create an audience for all users who are not VIP or part of the company 2345. In the case that you want to use third-party user data to do targeting with Optimizely, all you have to do is use code to request that third-party user data so that it is available in your application to pass to the Optimizely SDK APIs. In summary, audience targeting in Optimizely is both fast and flexible. By using data available in your application, passed in as key value pairs to optimize these APIs, along with conditions you've defined in optimize these application to make fast and flexible in-memory targeting decisions without additional requests to optimize Thanks for watching.